know some of you took my last video as I was going away, but I can promise you one thing. We are just getting started. So we're out here at the property, and uh, this is pretty much the first official video in this series of building this house. Um, so before we get started, we got several things we're gonna do today, but before we get started, there is one important thing that I need to do up at the front of the property. It's down here at the very front of the property by the sidewalk. This is probably the spot that I figured would get damaged the least when we start building and having equipment in here. I took some plugs from my house using this Pro Plugger, and I'm gonna move them right here. So we've got one from the front yard, tall fescue and one from the side yard, bluegrass ryegrass, that is real mode, real low. All right, so I think I'm standing in the middle of the house where it's gonna go, so that is step number one. We are gonna mark the four corners of the house where it's gonna go. After that, cut some trees no we're not gonna cut some trees we're gonna mark some trees that are gonna get cut that is coming up very soon the cutting um, and then lastly we're going to mow that's why I brought the mower down here we're gonna mow where I think the driveway will go all right so we're standing right here where we're gonna put the house I think um, this is honestly the hardest part once you do it you can't go back um, and I don't want to regret down the road you know if we had put it closer to the road put it further back left right i don't want to have that happen um, and i'm nervous it will so as you can see you can hopefully see my truck down there that is the gravel drive that we come in on and our driveway will come off of that up the hill here um, and we're it's not a super steep slope but it's not perfectly flat and i'm okay with that i think this is going to be awesome versus the other side of the lot was actually way more hilly steeper um, and so this is just going to be way better And 68 right there boom 68 we should have added another foot onto this all right so the four corners are marked you can see these white posts if you see the orange on the trees right here and right here I kind of went overboard with some of the paint but that's okay I paid for it, you didn't, so don't be telling me I put too much on it. And then we've got a lot of orange here. Got my camera here, because there's a lot of deer and actually a bobcat on here. Um, but, and I'm trying to catch them on camera, so we've got that set up from the deer right here, going nuts. And then even though this right here is a little bit away from the house, not too far away, but I've got trees marked right here because I think this is where I want to put a fire pit, I think. If not a fire pit, something else will go here. And so we are literally standing right here. No, hold on. Now we are literally standing inside the house. Right here is backyard. Right here is back porch. Slash living room, something. You get what I mean. All right, so here we are. We are literally standing in the backyard. And I have a question for you guys. It's a very, actually a very important question. So I want you to leave an answer in the comments below. Would you rather have a bigger backyard? Would you rather have a bigger front yard? Or would you rather just, you know, be somewhere in between, I guess. Um, although that's kind of a cop out. If you say halfway, come on, bigger backyard or bigger front yard. Those are your two options. And so as of right now, this is literally the back of the house where I'm standing right here. The line goes straight across this way. This is the backyard view. However, I'm taking some of these trees out. Probably, you might not be able to see them on camera, but there's trees marked in there orange. Um, it's probably 40 feet, 50 feet. Um, so as this stands right now, we will have about 50, 40 to 50 feet of a backyard before it's woods. And then up here in the front, again, I am right here at the front of the house. The, the front of the house runs this way, and there is, see, there's a house right there. That's the only house on our gravel drive. We share this. No houses that way. There's 40 acres that way of woods. 
um, and that's awesome. Having that next to us is one of the reasons why I loved this property, um, but there is a house right there, and I don't really want to walk out my front door. No offense to them, they're awesome people. Don't really want to walk out my front door and see people or see a house. So as it stands right now, the front of this house is 140 feet off of that gravel drive. So my question, would you keep it like it is? I'm not gonna move it back any further um, because I want a backyard. Um, or would you move it up a little bit even though there's trees right here and I'm not gonna take down all those trees because I want, I know in the fall with the leaves down, you can see it, but in the springtime, summertime, when we're outside all the time, you won't be able to see that house because of the leaves. Would you keep the house here or would you move it up a little bit? If I moved it up, it would be no more than 15 to 20 feet um, so that you have a bigger backyard. So as you can see, I mean, this isn't perfect, but it comes down, I had to go around these trees. Imagine that driveway will go straight. It will go straight through where those trees are, straight down there, through that tree, through where that stump is down there. I mean, you get, you get the idea. So the next step in this process is just to start hacking. We're gonna get the skid steer in here to push some trees over. We're gonna get some chainsaws going and just start hacking some stuff up. Now, a lot of this stuff that's junk and this little stuff, we're just gonna push to the center um, and we're just gonna burn it. But some of this stuff is good. There's some cherry in here that we're gonna uh, cut up for firewood. We're gonna make a pile away in the back um, to save that for firewood. But other than that, a lot of stuff's coming down. Luckily, this right here is really clear already, so we don't have to do any messing around with this, but all the stuff on the outside is coming down, and uh, you're coming along with it. So I'm gonna circle back one last time for you guys. I wanna know, would you rather have your front yard bigger or your backyard bigger? Be closer to the road, closer to uh, civilization, just a joke, uh, or do you want um, to be further away and have a smaller backyard let me know leave a comment down there do it